Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm addressing a problem I've had with the WRX for a while that's been driving me nuts, and that is the stock mounts. Uh, the car just drives like crap when you try and shift it, when you're like just kind of cruising in a low RPM. It's really shaky, it's really bouncy. You know, you tap the gas pedal and you can just feel, feel the engine and transmission rocking around. So to start the process off of stiffening everything up, I went a little extreme and I got solid transmission mounts. The mount itself and the bushings are all solid. Uh, when I get the motor mounts, I'm going to get the parent pitch stop, uh, or not the, uh, sorry, the parent pitch brace to go on the firewall. And then I'm going to get the hardest or the stiffest pitch stop I can. I know I'm gonna get a lot of noise and vibration in the uh, cabin, but at least it's gonna drive 10 times better. We'll see how this goes and uh, determine the rest, but I'm gonna go ahead and start installing this. All right, so here are the new Illuminati solid mounts. And I'm gonna be honest, right out of the gate, they look really nice. Um, looks quality, it feels nice, it feels sturdy. And all of these are actually labeled so you know exactly where they go on the transmission bracket. So I'm gonna get under the car and uh, start taking this thing out. Okay, so when you get underneath the car, here's your bracket. These are all 14 millimeter bolts. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, those are, I believe, 17s, um, but these are also 14. So you can go ahead and take all of those 14 millimeters out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a jack and a block of wood just so it doesn't like drastically lower down. So before I loosen this up, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so both of these were 17 millimeter bolts on the ends there, the ones that I told you about. And then uh, I missed two 12 millimeter bolts holding this uh, this drive shaft shield, the exhaust shield um, to the actual frame, the support. So here's our stock mount. You can just see, I mean, look at that. That's just what, look. You imagine if I can move this like this with my bare freaking hands, how much movement there is every time you're driving, shifting. Um, so I believe those are 14s as well. Four of them hold this to the transmission. I'm going to take those off, put the new mount on here, and then put all the bushings on the, uh, the actual mount itself. All right, now you can see the mount is down. We're going to just sit this new mount like this and bolt it into place. All right, so I have the new mount on the transmission. Now all I have to do is basically take out these rubber bushings. All right, we have our new solid mounts in place. And we're gonna put this back under the car. Hey guys, so everything is in. Just so you know, uh, I did not use a transmission jack. I don't have a lift. And this took me under an hour. So, uh, and that's with filming. All I did was I put a block with, uh, I put a, uh, jack stand with a block under here and the transmission didn't even come down half an inch to touch that so putting all this back together was honestly completely easy i didn't have to lift up on the transmission to get any of this to bolt back up everything was fine so uh i don't think you have to worry about that if you were thinking about doing this yourself now i got that stupid thing in i'm gonna put the car back on the ground i'm gonna go inside get a shower get something to eat and uh, I'm gonna take it out for a little road test and just see how bad it is. So uh, hopefully it's not crazy, but I don't drive the car every day. So if it is, whatever. All right guys, here we go, first start. <laughs> that is hilarious. When I turned the key to start it, I could feel the starter in my ass. When I push the clutch in, I can hear it. Oh man, this is gonna be ridiculous. All right, let's go. Oh my, oh, that feels so good though. Oh my God, that feels so good. I let off the clutch and it just goes. It doesn't buck, it doesn't jerk. It is so, whoa. scared to go 80 in this thing right now I'm going holy shit Feeling like 
like a modified daily driver to a full-fledged race car with one modification. It is just connected. Wow. I really like this. I don't know if I if the vibration will grow on me. But it sure as hell feels good. All right, now I don't want to I don't want to launch the car, but I'm going to I'm going to rip on it here and see what happens. with you guys the vibrations at like 30 feel exactly the same at 80 so it's really not even that bad it's just that vibration uh, the vibration in my seat isn't a big deal at all uh, it's it's in my steering wheel and my my feet that's kind of like tripping me out a little bit but overall I kind of like it you know I might run with these for a little bit and uh, I don't know if I change my mind they weren't expensive at all I think this whole setup that I just put in was maybe like 140 or 150 bucks, I want to say. So getting the urethane mounts would be just a little bit cheaper than what I got. Uh, so, hey, it is what it is. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Would I recommend this mount? If you really aren't worried about vibrations and sounds, yes. If you're picky about in-cabin sounds and vibrations, no, I would go with the polyurethane one, but I'm going to be honest with you. My butt dyno could feel a little bit different. Like I felt like it was getting more power to the ground because it didn't have that like lunging motion. As soon as I ripped on it, boom, power was there. I, it just, there was no like, none of that like sluggish, like jerking motion when you first get into it. It was just instant. Uh, my shifts were so smooth, so fast, so clean. There was no slop in it at all. So awesome mod i would recommend it if you don't care about vibrations and sound so um for now i'm gonna roll with it i like it so i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching